Today I'm going to be talking about the popular weight loss aid, CLA, which stands for Conjugated Linoleic Acid. It's been used for decades for weight loss, but it's just recently been featured on Dr. Oz, which has renewed the public's interest in it. So what it is, is a naturally occurring fatty acid. It's in every beef and dairy product that we eat. It's considered a healthy fat, but it's one that we don't normally get enough of in our diets. So it's one of those natural products that we have to supplement with to see the max benefits. And the way it works to aid in weight loss is that it basically blocks a process of converting excess fat in the diet into actually stored body fat. So it could be considered a pseudo fat blocker. But it's important to note that the supplement isn't a free pass to eat all the ice cream that you want. It doesn't work that way. You still have to watch what you eat and how much you eat. There's also a lot of promising research being done on other positive CLA effects, especially as it relates to bone health, heart health, and even cancer treatment. But strictly for weight loss, it should be taken with food throughout the day. And the most commonly accepted dose for weight loss is 3200 milligrams a day. And if you buy a standalone CLA product, it'll most likely contain a thousand milligram pills. So basically one of those with breakfast, lunch, and dinner. If it's just an ingredient in a product you're already taking or thinking about taking, make sure you check that it has the right amount of CLA. If it's less than 3,000 milligrams, it won't be enough. In fact, some experts are recommending as much as 6,000 milligrams a day for max weight loss. So we're really going to help out. We're going to start with fat melters, come on back, that are unique because they do not require any diet or exercise. You guys ready to see what it is? Yeah. I thought you would. All right, we're going to start off with something that is called CLA. It stands for conjugated linoleic acid. Conjugated linoleic acid. So that's just a hub. What is this? Well, CLA is what we know as the good trans fat. And it has a lower melting point than the other fats. And it burns it faster. And it's, it's really a great, great stuff that we have naturally in beef and in dairy. Our bodies don't produce it, so we do need to get it from other sources. So we made both a little demonstration for you to, to reveal what Dr. Sal Hub is talking about. So imagine this globe filled with all kinds of fun stuff inside is a fat cell with fat on the inside. Right? These fat molecules, when you want to get rid of them, guess what? They don't want to come out. So you work out, you eat right, you do all the smart things, but no matter what you try, no matter how you turn this thing, nothing happens. That's why it's so hard to lose stubborn fat. But if you take CLA, pretend this is CLA, Dr. Cell Hub, if you don't mind, and just pour that into that fat cell. As the fat cell takes this up, guess what it does? It dissolves what's in there. And as it dissolves those fat molecules on the inside of the fat cell, it makes it really easy for that fat cell to get rid of it. Pouring out that stubborn fat, until there's little left on the inside. So what kind of results could folks really expect to have if they start adding this to their diet? Well, again, you think melting. So we've seen the, um, that place right here on the gut that we call the abdominal obesity, that shrinks. We also see a loss of body fat, of the mass. And in, that, in fact, there was one study that showed an 8% reduction versus placebo when the individual took CLA without diet and exercise. And how long did it take to get rid of that fat that you're describing? Well, usually it can take anywhere about four weeks. We usually see results in about four weeks. So not a crazy yeah. long period of time. No. So Maria from Austin sent us a little note. She says she's lost 56 pounds from using CLA. Here she is before and there she is after. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of weight loss. Congratulations. So how do you suggest getting CLA uh, into your diet? What's the most effective way to take it? Well, of course, it is. you can get it in your diet. You can get it from beef or dairy. Um, however, you really also you want to look for grass-fed because it's really in large amounts of grass. You'd have to eat a lot of it to get that desired effect. So you can take a supplement. So how much would you take? Well, we recommend about three grams a day in three divided doses. And just make sure that it's made with safflower oil because that has a higher contact of CLA in it. I also want to mention that if you do have diabetes, we're not really quite sure how it affects insulin sensitivity or resistance. So check with your doctor before taking it. Thank you for watching our video. 
I hope the information we present it shows you our excellent service. So what are you waiting for? Take action now and feel the change soon.